Did I check this one? What? No way. Everybody, welcome to today's video. Before we get started and going to raid, I do want to thank everybody. We're at over 300 subscribers now. Um, I'll be honest, when I first started in September, I was not sure how. I, I honestly didn't think I'd get to like a, over 100 subscribers by the end of the year, but that's okay. We're doing this for fun. Uh, we're playing games. If we eventually get monetized, great. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the videos. I do try to improve something every single time when I make a video uh, for the most part. And right now I'm still on standalone quest three. I will probably try to move to PC VR just because I know the graphics are better. It'll be easier for recording so I don't have to adjust for the audio video lag then isolate my voice, you know, make a copy of the audio file remove the voice from one, keep the voice in the other, up the volume and everything like that so it's easier to hear just because it's it's a lot of uh, process when you're doing standalone uh, just to, oh, I forgot settings. But yeah, it's a lot when you're playing on a standalone quest. Some other people probably understand if they've tried making videos on standalone quests that there, there are a lot of things that could go wrong. The visuals aren't as great. So I'm thinking maybe sometime around January, maybe probably February-ish, I'll try to move over to PC VR. We'll see. I mean, I'm. It's it's going to be a purchase of close to like three grand. So, whenever I spend a decent or a lot of amount, a lot of money, is that? No, it's a sign. Whenever I spend a lot of money on something, I like to take my time to make the decision. So, well, we're not late to raid, and it's quiet. almost too quiet. I know I need to check more, but makes me nervous I haven't seen any players on this side. If I heard faint gunshot. I mean, it could just be people that you know, or newer and struggling getting taken out by Phoenixes, but. And when you're playing alone, checking your surroundings, if like for me, like I went back over there to check to make sure there's no one else pushing in that way. Um, before I looted this bottom area, I'm going to check over here. I'm watching all along this side. Nothing. Okay. Uh, yes, I know as soon as I left that area, somebody could have left research and ran towards me. But, I mean, you can't spend your whole time worried. I mean, if you get taken out, you get taken out. It's part of the game. Ah, 
I check this one? What? No way. <laughs> That's funny. I think I get more key cards <laughs> out of these static like crate spawns compared to anything else. It's 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 just kind of funny to me how that works. Actually, what we'll do, because regardless of whether I have good stuff or not, I do like to try to stay in raid. Um, just because, you know, if you run into those late people, it's fun and everything like that. I think there's a phoenix back on that roof. But, yeah, it's, so I'll go research. If I find water or anything in that garage, of, upstairs of garage, then I'll stay in. We'll let fate decide that way. Looks like a phoenix. I think it was walking that way. We'll make sure it's a phoenix. Yeah, that's a phoenix. If anybody's here, they know I'm here now. <sighs> what? No way. So... Brass. Somebody in my comments said that the GPU spawns aren't, and the root spawns aren't showing up anymore um, until like the raid starts or whatever. So I, I want to say that's probably true. I mean, we found a late GPU. Still need water. I mean, I'm not. No, I didn't take the brass before, but that's okay. Yeah, so we got hack tool GPU, orange key card. Didn't find any water, so we'll. <laughs> I'm not gonna die of thirst or have a chance of dying of thirst risking it. But yeah, 25 minutes left in the raid, so. Not bad. So if you're wondering if the static spawns are still there, they are. That's in one sass mag, I don't care. I got everything else though. <laughs> yeah, I tried to beat the timer. Yeah, I got, what, three phoenixes? <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so let's go into raid two a uh, big shout out to whoever commented that the uh <laughs> items are showing up after the raid timer starts i would definitely say that that's probably a confirmation that that's true so yeah thanks for letting me know i mean i I usually go back and check for left behind stuff anyway, so hey, even better, right? So we are, <laughs> we got GPU, hack tool, a uh, handful of other things, orange card, which got us more stuff, and yeah, we're going back into raid. I did 
eat and drink in game so my food and water is good didn't see a single other player i heard gunshots from a distance the whole time didn't see a single other person Ooh, beach spawn You know what, we're going to risk it. We're going to go this way. I know I heard gunshots over that way. But I want to push this and then get up on my hill. I'm going to camp my hill in a little bit. Probably be the match I die <laughs> due to due to not taking out that Phoenix. So if that person got hit at all by the Phoenix, they probably ran that way to try to get the mid spawn. Damn, it's good. And they would want to loot the camp. And I already wasted one of my meds when I should have just taken out that Phoenix. So, yay me. That is an adventure backpack though. Ray time hasn't started, so let's check it. If I die going after Adventure Backpack, I'm gonna feel so stupid. And I, if you're wondering, um, why am I playing so different right now when I'm by myself compared to when I play harsh, um, or compared to when I play with other people? Oh, there's a player there. It is because when I play with more than one person, that gives. Uh, me the ability to not have to pay attention to every single thing that's going on um, There's somebody else that's doing call outs and stuff like that. There's somebody else looking At a different part of the map pretty much the whole time Whoa. 
Yep. I don't think he had anything. Jeez. Okay. There's one, two, three. He had a backpack, it looked like a venture bag. So I'm gonna give it a minute. Wait to see if I hear any gunfire inside. I kinda wanna just go prison now. I will say these sites are nice. <laughs> I wish I would have started using them a lot sooner. I know I struggled with them at first, but since I switched because it's just that little dot right there instead of the head and or body and shoulders or whatever, I I think I've been hitting more of my shots. And that's another thing too. So one thing I want to point out is that player I didn't shoot until he had a rock behind him so he couldn't run backwards and he would have had to go up the hill or down the hill pretty much, right? Just looking around, double checking everything. That player, he was stuck in the tower. This player, I came up, I waited till he was in the open. He couldn't go quickly behind the hill that way or that way without giving me the opportunity to put like four or five or six more shots at him. So if you wait for those opportunities instead of doing what i did when i saw the guy coming down the hill and just took one shot one i had one bullet to shoot at him pretty much and then he was gone you're gonna get a lot more kills and also shoot suppressed but let's get into that time I do kind of want to check for this med. We'll check the med, get that bag, because he had a adventure bag, it looked like, from a distance. Phoenix up there, that's good. Because that can alert me. And then... 33 minutes left in the raid. We'll head over to... Oh, nice. We'll head over to uh, prison after we check this side one more time. Um, well, we'll check this side. We'll go up my hill. Check the body. Head to prison. Loot there. Hopefully there's food and water. Um, we got another med from the static spawn there. Like, the static spawns are fixed. I think the people that are running in, if the person that commented in my video is correct, the people that are just running in and going for those right away aren't going to be finding them, which is good. It shouldn't be something that doesn't spawn until, like, the first two to five or whatever many minutes left in the raid. That way, it's, you, you know, some people might not like it because they get kind of gets rid of their naked runs. But I think that's kind of the point the devs want to make is stop going in with nothing and just rushing the spawns and leaving because you're turning into a raid that is up to 12 players and you're going to make it easily three or four players, which for me, I think it's a little more scary if it's only three or four players because you don't hear as much. Those players are probably suppressed. And you're going to be doing what I'm doing right now, walking up a hill and then just being, boom, shot and dead. Right? Were you running before? 
I don't know if you were running before or not. And yes, I know I go against every single piece of my advice whenever I am up here, but I got 14 minutes into the raid. The chance that this person cleared out prison is pretty good. Oh, they only had one of those bags. Oh, well, it's still a bag. I want to get one tap by a phoenix. Oh, that's a player. See what I'm doing now, I know there is a player there, so I kind of want to drag him in to the side if I can. I know what you may be thinking, you got a GPU. That's two raids in a row, you got a GPU. I'm like, yeah, but I'm over a million dollars at this point. I Having money is cool. Having higher level traders is cool. But it doesn't always do it for me. Is that Phoenix? Well, that was good timing. Man. Oh, well. You know, I think that's four players. If I die, I die at this point in time. I need, uh... Check his body. Hope he has food. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's... One of those things, like, I know when I was playing with her, she's like, are all your raids like this? And... I mean, they maybe not be, they might not be as fast paced, but they're generally pretty good. I desperately need food or else my stamina is not going to regenerate. Or stamina, st stamina is not going to regenerate. I don't know why I said stamina. I don't think he had a buddy.
Now I'm gonna be in trouble here. That was a player. All right, we're getting out. <laughs> I don't care. I put shots at him, so he's gonna think I'm gonna. He, he's probably gonna hesitate. Oh, but what did he have? What does he have? Usually, I don't run. You know, I'm just gonna go. Even if I were to get him, I would still be in trouble and in danger of dying from lack of food if I can't heal out of the rain. So we're going to take our GPU and get on out. <laughs> Four kills though, that's not that bad. Whew, okay. I gotta see this. Forever Blessed, Pew Pew, King Pear, and Dimitri420. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I might hop on again later on just to try to get some recording done before Christmas and everything like that, but we'll see what happens. But as you could see, GPUs and static spawns are back in the game. If my subscriber or the person that commented on my video was correct, I'm sorry I forget your name, that means that the loot and the high tier spawns, so for GPUs, key cards, everything like that, they're not spawning in until the raid timer starts, which is great. That means we're going to have fewer people running in, checking those things and everything like that. And that second raid, I kind of wish I had found food because I wanted to get the fifth person. <laughs> I wanted to take them out, but I couldn't because I was running out of food, stamina. I only had one med if I had to heal out of there. And yeah, but... We still got four people taken out of that raid and a second GPU. That's back-to-back -back GPUs for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.